morning everybody start this day with a little bit of chaos here at the truck stop I went just down the road a little bit to the pilot here in Moston Wisconsin where I could grab a shower here I had a shower credit so I figured I may as well use it and now we're gonna head down to Rochelle Illinois to the Petro Pass and look how nice the weather looks here right aside from all of this chaos it's looking pretty good out here another truck coming out of course right when I want to leave that's when everything gets jammed up every time <laughs> literally now look all these guys pulling forward too on the left right as I started my truck and I started my camera I was like hey let's do some vlogging that's when all of this began anyways how you guys doing south of where we started and already you can see that uh, the sky has changed and we have a little bit of snow falling it's still supposed to be snowing in Rochelle Illinois where we're headed to but I'm really hoping that we're missing the brunt of it we got something going on around here police here and the other side of the road looks like blocked or something what happened there a lot of police vehicles it's just a fender bender huh all that fuss just a fender fender bender why do they need like six cops yeah because i wonder if they got angry started a fight car is this coming up? Oh, this is a Tesla. This is one of those new Teslas. Check this out. Oh, wait. Well, come on, pass me. I want to show you to my... Why are you slowing down? This car was right beside me and slammed on their brakes because this cop was turning around. Right there. Okay, here she comes. I actually really like these Teslas. You, you can't change lanes. That's a solid line. Solid line. You couldn't wait. You couldn't wait until now. Oh. You know I see that every time. In construction zones, it doesn't matter if they put down a solid line. People don't know what that means. That means you can't change lanes there. You may have a lot of money, but you need to go back to driving school, I think. Having a nice vehicle doesn't mean you know how to drive, I guess. But if Tesla ever came up with a really nice heavy-duty pickup truck to compare to like the 2500s and the F250s, I'd look into it. I'd look into it. I'm not against electric vehicles. And if they made it affordable, yeah, well, I wouldn't mind. I mean, they would also have to make charging stations a regular thing everywhere, just like gas stations are, right? And they'd have to make the charge fast enough so that you don't have to sit there for hours while your vehicle charges and you'd have to be able to go like at least 500 miles I would say on a charge that'd be nice so they got a long way to go you know I I might be 
a little less critical of this pointless carbon tax that we have right now if we had a viable option or alternative. Like me, I don't have any alternative. I gotta drive this truck. I gotta buy diesel fuel for it. Freight needs to be delivered. The world needs to keep turning. The economy needs to keep going. Otherwise, everybody loses. Nobody makes money then. So I have no choice. I have no alternative. So I'm being taxed for something and punished for something, punished for polluting. Remember, he always said that there's a there's a price on pollution now, but I have no other option. You know, I'm being punished for polluting, but give me another option. You know, Tesla semis. They're not really an alternative at this point. They're a dream and a realistic dream. Well, we got a long way to go. I would say make them a competitive option and then maybe punish us for choosing the dirtier option. But right now, that's why I'm so mad at the carbon tax. I have no choice. Costing hundreds and hundreds of extra dollars every month that comes out of my pocket. So far, we're not charging any more for our freight. And fuel prices are going up. I'm not getting paid more. That just comes out of my pocket for something that I have no control over. I have no choice. That's why I say, if they come up with like a Tesla pickup truck, I'd look into it. I'm not like a... a a terrible person who wants to pollute the environment and stuff like I, I get it if you come up with a great alternative I'll look into it but don't punish me for something that I have no alternative to you guys understand what I'm saying yeah you understand what I'm saying these roads are really rough here yikes we're getting close to the border with Illinois I'm gonna pull into this rest area here actually it's getting a little snowier can't read these signs because they're covered in snow. Trucks this way, okay. Can barely read it there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of dump trucks in the ditch here. Check this out. Heavy duty dump trucks just hanging out. Look at that. I wouldn't mind driving one of those, that'd be fun. Wonder why they just leave them here in the ditch. On the, on the grass, you know, the, the sod. Wrecking the grass. And I think this is a good spot right here. I'm not stopping for too long. I just need a bathroom break and stretch my legs a bit. We have one more hour to go, approximately. I want to get there as soon as possible. There is a fire truck coming into the rest area. What are you doing? He's going out the other side over there. So I'm wondering, maybe this is where the fire station is. It's maybe in the back here. I'll have to check on the map. I can't see it from here, but he came from somewhere. He didn't exit off the highway either. He came from somewhere like behind the rest area. I think. I don't know where he came from. <laughs> Weird. Let's continue on. I don't want to waste too much time here. The sooner I get to Petro in Rochelle there, the sooner I can get a parking spot. I'm kind of worried that uh, the snow would have caused a lot of drivers to pull in and stop, which is good. If they don't feel comfortable driving, that's what they should do. I just hope that some spots are left open for me. I should be getting there around seven o'clock in the evening. It's around about the time when it starts to, when people start pulling in for supper and some people end their days around then. I shouldn't have a problem. There's something like 400 parking spots there. And then from there, it's only 45 minutes down the road to deliver in the morning. I want to be there early in the morning. I still don't have a reload, so I don't want to go too early. The people back home get into the office around 8 a.m. So if I go in too early, I'm, I know I'm going to be sitting till at least then to hear from them what my reload is, so I don't want to go before that. I'd like to get there probably around 8 o'clock because I don't think they have a reload for me yet. They still got to find one. And I don't want to be sitting around wasting my e-log hours while they're looking. So if I get there around 8 a.m., I'll be unloaded by 8.30. That'll have given them about a half hour to settle in to work, get their Monday morning started, and 
kids start looking for stuff for me. So hopefully by around about nine o'clock, I know which direction I should head. Or maybe even 8.30, depends how quick they are. I wanna be ready for them at 8.30 though. Illinois right now. We're at uh, exit 99. We're going to turn off. Petro's just off to our right there. Exit 99 on right to Illinois 38. And as you can tell, the snowstorm has passed. And there's not even any snow left on the roads, which is awesome. I was reading reports from this morning and it was bad. And my buddy Will, who we met yesterday, he was actually right here this morning and he sent me a picture of it and it was just a whiteout blizzard. Turn right on Highway 38. It was good. We're gonna park here at the Petro. We're 45 minutes away from where we have to deliver tomorrow morning. That's close enough. This is a nice safe place to stop as far as I know. Better than parking anywhere near Chicago City for the night. Turn right on Highway 38. And find ourselves a parking spot and uh, and go to bed early. Gotta be up early. Probably gonna wanna leave here by about seven o'clock, 7 a.m. In 650 meters, turn right on South Dement Road, then turn right, turn right on Petrol Road. Alright, here we are. Looks like there's plenty of parking available. These Petro truck stops are amazing. They have everything you need, as does, you know, Quick Trips do, do as well. But Petro and TAs, I believe they're owned by the same people. I don't know that for sure, though. But they always have a nice mechanic shop here. At this one, they have the Blue Beacon truck wash right here. I'm not going to wash the truck because it's just going to get dirty right away again in this mess. I'll wait till it dries up a bit. Wow, yeah, there's... Tons of parking here. Tons. All this to the right is reserved parking. Because why not, right? Make some money. Make us pay for parking. I'm not paying for parking. I'll tell you that right now. I'm not paying for parking. Nope. I want to park in a good spot where uh, I am confident that people are not going to back into me. Oh, it's exit only. Okay, we got to go around this way. Why is this the exit? Well, if I come in that way, I'm gonna have to blindside it into every parking spot. That doesn't make sense. Well, I've got the bed all set up. It's not the neatest, but whatever. I'm gonna mess it all up when I crawl in there anyway. I got some supper from the Petro Pass here, and oh, let me tell you, I'm excited about this. Check this out. Lasagna and chicken Alfredo. God bless America. And some garlic sticks to go with it. God bless America. Canadian truck stops, man. We got a ways to go. I am looking forward to this. Chevy, you've been a good boy today. Thanks, Dad. Been very, very good. Thanks. It means a lot, man. That's right. Such a good boy. Good boy. You're going to have your supper soon, too? You hungry? Just a little bit? A little bit hungry? You. No, don't eat my finger. Are you hungry? <laughs> Let's have supper, bud. Let's say goodbye to the good people. Let's have supper. This is the Petro Pass where I'm at right now. Found the safest spot I could. Will was right. There's like four or 500 parking spots here. Tons of parking. And I'm right between this guy here and this guy here with a driveway there in front of us. So the least 
possible chance of anyone backing into me if either of these guys leave. Though I think they're going to stay here because they're probably waiting for Monday morning just like me. So it was a short day, but thanks for hanging out with me. Tomorrow's a new day. I hope you join us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I know a lot of you watch but aren't subscribed. Go ahead, take the plunge. Do it. Subscribe on YouTube. It's free. Hit the little bell right beside there. That way you get a notification when my video does go live and you don't miss it. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.